So now that we have a Broadcom account created, let's go ahead and download. I've got a Windows 11 PC here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, download VMware Workstation Pro. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up a browser, start to type Broadcom till I get to Broadcom. It doesn't matter if I go to the Broadcom site or the specific support portal because here's a link to the portal. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that portal and it's gonna redirect me and then it's gonna ask me to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause while I log in. So once I'm logged in, I'm gonna come up here and choose VMware Cloud Foundation. That's gonna take me to a subset for the VMware software. I'm gonna choose downloads in the left. And then from here, it's gonna bring up all of the software. So instead of searching through all this, I'm gonna come up and simply type work. It's gonna go ahead and show me everything that has work in it. Here is VMware Workstation Pro. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna take me to the download site for Workstation Pro. Now from here, I can pick the version I want. I'm gonna go ahead and install the latest version available, uh, which is release 17.6.2, so I'll click on that. Now, just a quick note, you may have to, um, in order to download, you might have a little release and a check button that you need to click here. I've already done it, so it's not there but that's gonna activate this uh, download button. So if this is grayed out, look up here, you'll find that check mark and that'll activate this. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and download the software, okay? So we'll notice up here, it's downloading and I'm gonna pause until it completes. So once the software has completed downloading, uh, we can click this button if that doesn't pop up, there it is. And I can download the software. So at this point, um, I can go ahead and close my browser and it will start the process of executing the installation. So here we go. It is going to start the installation process and we'll walk through this. I'm gonna pause uh, as it proceeds with the installation. From here, we'll go ahead and choose next. We wanna make sure that we read through this end user license agreement. We'll go ahead and accept the agreement and choose next. Again, I can't encourage you enough, read those agreements, <laughs> especially on social media sites, it might surprise you. So if you notice here, um, it gives me the opportunity to install the hypervisor. So if I haven't gone into my BIOS and installed the hypervisor, it'll actually do it for me, okay? So if you wanna do that, which what that means basically is instead of using um, the hypervisor that comes with VMware, it's going to utilize the uh, Windows hypervisor in this process, okay? I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, unchecked. I'm going to choose next, uh, add VMware console tools to the system path. I'm going to do that. I'm going to choose next. I'm going to add that desktop shortcut. Actually, I'm not. I'll add it to the start menu. I like to put it in the taskbar and I'm going to install. So it's gonna go ahead and complete the installation process here. And then from here, what I like to do is, like I said, put it into the taskbar. So I'll come up here, grab this, go to the right-hand side, find pin to the taskbar, put it in the taskbar, and we are done. So we'll go ahead and install our first virtual machine in the next video. I'll see you then.